Thank you, Jesus. So this is to my new friends, brothers and sisters in Christ. I decided to show you my humble life in Russia, Russian farm. This is it. This is when I arrived and I opened this lock. All right. Thank you, Jesus. So I grow some radish and I have some berries here. You see these berries? I grow them and I eat them a couple of bushes and this is the house we will go in I'll show you what I've been doing here so far there are some weeds that needs to be planted I've been building this fence because I don't have any money right now maybe if my ministry grows if you want to partner I will have some money but we'll talk about it later this is the fence that I that I built myself out of nothing out of out of the things that I found I built this fence like this and this is some raspberries raspberries right here organic and delicious at the store they're like ten dollars for a small box so there is opportunity to relax here and this is how water gets collected into this bathtub from the roof when it rains and then I can use it to water the plants that's the cherry tree and that's like the king of this farm this is a huge walnut tree walnut tree there is a plum over there and another walnut so now let's go in inside I'll show you what I have in there okay I'm in so I sweep this area here and these are the gloves that I work with I have a little mirror here shovel here second lock because thieves broke in two times already this is the third time that lock is put there there is a problem in Russia back in the day even potatoes they stole even potatoes out of the cellar I'll show it to you later this is my childhood Soviet bike so I go in and I open this window that's neighbors so I, I can have fresh air and I minister from here thank you Jesus in the name of Jesus so a little bed you can lay down and take a rest here this is my little like prayer praying area my praying corner and now I will show you my secret cave you know when you pray you're supposed to uh, go into your secret cave when you can be alone with the Lord and pray so right now we will go down there and I will show you my cellar my secret cave for prayer so stay tuned we're going down okay are you ready so this is where I go for my secret cave and prayer to be to pray with the Lord I will go down right now and I'll show you how it looks like in there okay we are in so this is where I came down from from up there I came down this ladder and this is pretty much my prayer closet this old cellar we used to have potatoes here and back in the day when USSR collapsed they broke into this house and they even stole the potatoes that's how hungry people were whatever they could sell that potato even 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 for a bag of potatoes people like people stole it's it's insane 
So right here, prayer closet. I can be here alone with the Lord here. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Now, brothers and sisters, let's talk about my situation in the name of Jesus. Let's talk about job situation. Well, right now I'm pretty sick and I'm like I'm doing vaccinations and I had a burn on my leg, but it's not even about that. Um, every job in Russia, every employer requires a military ID. Okay, you cannot get a job without a military ID. You know what's going on in Russia right now. I don't think Lord God wants me to just charge some village and be shot in the head you know I don't think God wants that for me so I lost my military ID sometimes and even like five years ago I even said I don't want it I don't want I don't want no war I want I don't want nothing especially I was born in Ukraine it's not it's not it's God's will I don't know what's happening with that I will do what Bible says is to spread the gospel. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, I need my ministry to take off. You know, I need friends. I need partners. If God puts in your heart to give, to help me to survive this terrible time, I'm alone in Russia. It's just me. I don't have any money. I have $20 to my name. That's it. If you want to give, you can. I have donations links. I have Bitcoin. I will try to get a job. I, I work at the church. They don't pay me money. For free, I work. I work from... Uh, yesterday I worked all day. Like from 10 in the morning to 5 p.m. And day before yesterday, I was picking weeds at the church. They gave me a piece of bread and a cookie. That's it. I worked at the church. Here, in, at the R Russian Orthodox Church, they gave me a piece of bread and a cookie. And I gave money to the church. That's it. I have faith. I have faith in God. I gave. I am expecting to somehow something will happen. Something must happen. Because I, I'm, I, I feel blessed. So, obviously, God... Uh, put in my heart to make this video to show you how I live to show you my house um, I'm the one I'm the only one in my family who who is with the Lord like this so you know I had a fight with my mother yesterday and she she pretty much got demonically possessed and she like yelled and charged at me I mean she she went furious she became furious we was we were discussing something it's insane i can just see how enemy lies it's an enemy i'm not mad angry at people but enemy can use your relatives to lie they're not they're they're not in the word like just like you or me reading the bible they're so the enemy can use anybody it can use your relatives so you have to rebuke it i rebuke it um, but that's that's what's going on. I don't have a military ID. I don't want the military ID. Okay. I don't. I don't think with long life I will satisfy you. That's the promise. Lord said, "You're my child. I will satisfy you with long life." I'm not satisfied. I'm too young. I don't think Lord wants for me. Lord doesn't want for me to charge in the attack on to or to be in the military. No. Okay, so this is this is my situation right now. I was looking at jobs today, and every job said you need military ID. And then once you go there, you you like you become on their on the military radar. They need people to attack, you know. So if I have military ID, if I get a job, like it's like, oh, there there it is. One more one more guy. You know, we can, if your employer like doesn't protect you, they can take you into the military. So with this thing, I have to stay low. I have to stay low. I have to keep like my head down. 
So what's the plan? Well, the plan is to pray, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When there is no logical solution, what else are you going to do? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for keeping me alive. Thank you. I am your slave. Thank you, Lord. I am your sheep. Protect me. Thank you, Jesus. I am your sheep. Bless my subscribers with lots of money. Amen. Bless my subscribers with lots of money so they can have help me, so they can give me some money. That's it. If I, if I go work at the church, they don't pay me money. You work for free there. This situation, my situation must change. I have to move out, out of my mother's house so that I don't, I don't get attacks from the enemy, the enemy that is using my mother and makes her furious and yelling at me, I need to leave. To leave, I need money to rent the place of my own. Anyways, because I want to leave peacefully. I don't want to fight with my mother. That's stupid. That's what enemy wants. Enemy wants me to fight with my mother. I want to, I pray for my mother. I pray for my mother so that enemy doesn't possess her and she becomes furious that's that's crazy no one's seen her like that except uh except for me no one other people she's nice to other people so this situation needs to end you guys so pray for me if you if you cannot help me financially pray for me if you can give me one dollar it's already a blessing it's a bl blessing for me it will give me hope what, your one dollar will give me hope. I already have hope. That's okay. It will give you hope. It will. Lord will bless you. Anyways, th that's just how it works. Freely we give, freely we receive. Amen. We are brothers and sisters and we must help each other out. I'm in Russia. I have no money except for $20. Please God, Lord, bless this, these $20 and multiply them multiply them all right bless me with the job where I don't have to show my military ID it is a job I'm doing job also right now I'm spreading the gospel Lord you told us to spread the gospel I spread the gospel please bless this video in the name of Jesus move these people move these people so they can help me and I can help them when I when I am financially abundant, I will help them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So let's just pray. Now, you've seen how I live, what I do. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. From New York, from Texas, much love to you. I love you. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I know you hear us. When we pray, we believe that we will receive amen in the name of Jesus with faith I pray right now that I am healthy and physically fit I will receive financial abundance in the name of Jesus from you Lord I will receive it my ministry will grow I will find a job that doesn't require military ID in the name of Jesus I will be safe. You will protect your sheep in the name of Jesus. Bless my subscribers, Lord. Please give them strength, health, and lots of money, financial abundance. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for watching, my friends. Please don't be silent. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any ideas. I'm open to have more friends to spread the gospel. Thank you, Lord. Much love to you. Amen.